Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know that uh, we are on unit number 13, which is energy and its resources. And today I will deliver its fifth lecture. So my dear students, today we are, we are going to talk about uses of energy resources. As you know that we, in the previous lecture, we have discussed about different energy resources, how they help us and uh, uh, what do they provide us. So today we will discuss about their uses. So my dear students, let's quickly recap the previous lecture. For that, you need to listen to the questions very carefully and then answer them. So quickly tell me what do you know about the uses of energy that we get from coal? Koile se jo hum uh, energy hasil karte hai, uska kya kya uses hai? Helps in cooking, generation of electricity, and it also generates heat. Very good. Now quickly tell me, what are the uses of energy that we get from petroleum? It helps to run the vehicles uh, as fuel, uh, the fuel of the cars and motorbikes around us. And it is also used to generate electricity. And uh, so the petroleum is also very important. What type of uh, uses of, what are the uses of natural gas? So it is also used in vehicles and it is used in generating of generation of electricity and it is also used um, in cooking and home uh, maybe aap isko cooking ke liye stoves mein use karte So my dear students, this is coal, natural gas and petroleum. So my dear students, now is the time for activity. Uh, divide the students in two groups and assign a task to make charts. So first one will make a chart on sources of energy, renewable and non-renewable. So my dear students, uh, pehla group jo hai, group A jo hai, wo renewable or non-renewable resources ke upar ek chart banayega. Second group will make a chart on energy sources that they know. Or second group jo hai, wo energy sources jo humne kafi saare padhe bhi hai, you already know that, uske baare mein ek chart banayega. So I will help you out with the pictures. So <clears throat> these, this is a chart. और इसमें different pictures हैं जिनको आप renewable और non-renewable resource के हिसाब से अलग-अलग कर सकते हैं. So this will be done by group A. So pause the video and um, separate out renewable and non-renewable resources from the pictures. Very good. Okay, now for group B. So you have to tell the energy sources. So coal, petroleum, electricity, um, these are different resources. Sun, these are different energy sources. Okay, my dear students, now in today's lesson, we will discuss about the use of energy sources. So in today's lecture, students will be able to understand that sources of energy are used for many things, moving object, heating, lightning, transportation, electric appliances, etc. So my dear students, let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. Allah also wants to make it clear that it he is the owner of the resources and to him belong all things. So my dear students, jitni bhi cheeze hai, Allah Ta'ala ne banai hai. Allah Ta'ala kudrat hasil rakhte hai, har cheez ko banane pe, jo wo chaate hai, wo wo bina sakte hai. Aur jitne bhi resources hai, is dunia mein, wo Allah Ta'ala ke banaye hai hai. Aur har cheez jo hai, wo Allah Ta'ala ki hi mil kiya hai. So my dear students, some pre-reading questions. Quickly tell me what are different uses of energy. Um, electrical production may use hoti hai, cooking may use hoti hai, uh, heating ke liye use hoti hai, uh, industrial purpose may use hoti hai, domestically aap inko use karte hai, so energy ke bohut sare uses hai. Okay my dear students, now is the time for reading. I request you all to please open page number 124 in your GK3 books. I hope everybody has opened the page. So let's start reading. Uses of energy sources. Energy obtained from various sources serve different purpose. Some of them are to move objects. Energy is needed to move objects from one place to another. For example, to move a bus from one place to another, energy is needed which is obtained from the petrol. Energy for this purpose is mostly obtained from other sources such as coal, flowing water, solar power, etc. So my dear students, um, move energy ki zarurat hoti hai 
और जैसे कि आप नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स को मूव करते हैं एक बस को या गाड़ी को मूव करने के लिए फ्यूल की ज़रूरत होती है इसके अलावा आप एनर्जी जो है वो मुख्तलिफ सोर्स से हासिल करते हैं जैसे कि कोल से पेट्रोलियम से नेचुरल गैस से फ्लोइंग वाटर से मूविंग विंड से दे प्रोवाइड एनर्जी सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट इज हीटिंग एनर्जी ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड हीट सो हीटिंग Heating is required for cooking and warming, making steam, molding industrial objects, melting objects in industry. Heat energy is mostly obtained from coal, oil, gas, and wood. So, my dear students, heat जो है ये बहुत important होती है और heating के लिए भी energy को use किया जाता है. Coal, natural gas, wood ये तमाम वो चीजें हैं जिनको heating के लिए use किया जाता है industrial purpose में भी, industries में भी और domestically भी. नेक्स्ट इज लाइटनिंग आपको रोशनी की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत होती है सो लाइटनिंग नीड्स इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी दैट मे बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम वाटर कोल विंड पार ऑयल सोर्सेज एक्सेट्रा सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स बिजली जो है वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है और बिजली जो है वो बहुत सी चीजों से बनती है पानी से हवा से कोल से पेट्रोलियम से नेचुरल गैस से तो ये तमाम चीज़ें जो है ये इलेक्ट्रिक सिटी प्रोड्यूस करने में हेल्प करती हैं और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी आपके लिए रोशनी का बायस बनती है आपके डिफरेंट अप्लाइंसेज जो हैं ये उनको चलाने में आपकी मदद करते हैं सो इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज बेसिकली जनरेटेड बाय अदर एनर्जी सोर्सेज सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट इज ट्रांसपोर्टेशन वहीकल्स ऑन द रोड एज वेल एज एरोप्लेन नीड एनर्जी टू मूव दिस एनर्जी इज मोस्टली ऑप्टेन फ्राम पेट्रोलियम प्रोडक्ट्स एंड नेचुरल गैस so my dear students to travel from one place to another you need transportation and to move that transportation energy is required and where does that energy is uh, come from it comes mainly from uh, petroleum and natural gas next is electrical appliances electrical energy is required to run electrical appliances electrical energy is mostly obtained from hydropower alternative sources used to produce it are solar power wind power and coal power सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स बिजली के लिए जैसे कि मैंने अभी आपको लाइटनिंग पढ़ाते हुए बताया था कि रोशनी के साथ साथ मुख्तलिफ जो आपके घर में इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लाइंसेज हैं नॉट ऑन ओनली इन योर हाउसेज बल्कि आपके स्कूल में ऑफिस में इंडस्ट्रीज में जितनी भी अप्लाइंसेज हैं दे नीड एनर्जी टू वर्क एंड वेयर डज दैट एनर्जी कम फ्राम दैट कम्स फ्राम इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी और इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी कैसे बनाते हैं दैट इज मेड फ्राम वाटर जैसे कि पाकिस्तान में मोस्टली प्रोड्यूस होती है कोल पार से यूज होती है इसके अलावा पेट्रोलियम विंड पार जो है सोलर एनर्जी दे आल्सो प्रोड्यूस इलेक्ट्रिसिटी सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन वी नीड एनर्जी इट कम्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट सोर्सेस आपको ये पेट्रोलियम से भी मिलती है पानी से भी मिलती है सूरज से भी मिलती है इसके अलावा कुकिंग के लिए हीटिंग के लिए वी नीड ऑल्सो एनर्जी दैट कम्स फ्राम कोल एंड नेचुरल गैस एंड वुड and petroleum and next is for lightning we need um, electricity and that electricity is generated from hydro powers uh, elect uh, hydro electricity gas and uh, wind energy uh, coal and petroleum they all generate electricity and for transportation fuel is required that mainly comes from petroleum and gas and for your electrical appliances electricity is required and where does that electricity comes from it comes from um water energy wind energy coal energy and also solar energy so my dear students now is the time for practice for practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher so my dear students write down your name and your roll number and let's start uh, you will answer the questions which type of energy is needed to move objects there are different energies which are needed uh, which uh, help the objects to move write down their name names uh, for what purpose heating is required what are the sources of heat energy for transportation the energy opt is obtained from dash what type of energy is needed for electrical appliances and what are the sources of electrical energy so my dear students ye one one line ke answers hain you can also take help from your book and you can pause the video and reverse it and you can uh, rewatch the video so my dear students pause the video complete this worksheet and we will move forward 
Very good. Now let's move forward towards evaluation. So my dear students, quickly answer the questions. Enlist some of the uses of energy. Heating. Lightning. Transportation. These are some uses of energy. Which for, uh, form of energy is needed to move objects? Um, it is um, uh, petroleum, electricity, uh, heat. They are all are used to move objects. So when, uh, what is the purpose of heat energy? It uh, provides heating. It generates electricity. So these are some uses of heat energy. Next is which form of energy is used to run domestic machinery and vehicles? Electricity is used for domestic machinery and for vehicles, fuel uh, is required. Okay, my dear students, now is time to note down your homework. For this, you will do the writing practice and you will answer question number three given on page number 128. Enlist some of the uses of energy. So, now we have many uses of energy. You have to list them list down. Karne hai. So, this is your homework and now is the time for wrap up. So, my dear students, in today's lecture, we have learned that energy obtained from solar power, coal and flowing water is help to move objects. Coal, oil and gas are the sources of energy which helps uh, to helps in heating, cooking and warming. Water, coal, wind, power are the source of energy for lightning and transportation is due to natural gas and petroleum. Electrical appliances are run due to electrical energy of which big which is a big source um, uh, 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 whose source is uh, hydropower. So my dear students I hope uh, you have enjoyed today's lecture and you have learned different uses of energy. Keep everybody around you safe. Have a good day. Thank you so much and Allah Hafiz.